Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to import Microsoft SQL Server or database table inside Cassandra. So, add here I am using uh, NoSQL Manager for Cassandra. So, by using this editor, we can easily import Microsoft SQL Server table views, synonyms, and many more. So, for this, add here this is the S point, is the key space. Now, here, right click on the tables. And here you can find import data from external database. So if you click there, so at here we have our two options. First is MS SQL Server database. So at here direct connect to MS SQL Server database. Or we can use at here my SQL database. So let's so select at here MS SQL Server database. Now here after click on next. And here you should to or keep at here server name. So add here for server name. So add here I'm going to disconnect and connect. So copy this or server name and paste at this place. Now here after we have two way to to the authentication. First is Windows authentication or SQL Server authentication. So if I select add here SQL Server authentication, we need to give add here username and password. So let's uh, do the connection. So at here login and connecting, give the password, click on connect button. So it's a uh, connected and here you can find item database and here this all tables. So this all tables going to import inside Cassandra. Now here keep the username SA and here keep the password. Now here after you can select the database. So add here master time here MSTB. So this three is for the system defined database. So I'm going to select add here adder. Now here after click on next. And here this is the available tables are there. So if you want all, then here you can click double arrow. So it's all selected. Now if you don't want, then here. So if you want some particular or tables. So let's select at here this, not this one. So press control here after you can select the tables. So you can select whatever you like from here. Now here after you should or click at here this arrow, single arrow. Now here after it's so selected if you want any particular select and here click this arrow now here after the next is click on next button so add here this is source table name and here this is the destination table name now here after click on next and here I pass size 100 and if there is uh, any or uh, any table exit so it, it will replace now here after click on execute so add here first is filled because add here the table must have primary key. If the table have primary key, then that will import inside Cassandra. So this table don't have primary key. So add here if you press or here you get no primary key so that it's a filled. But this table country and others has the primary key so that no any problems. So add here it's a done. So this or tables and here this one, this one doesn't have any primary key so that it uh, doesn't import. So for importing table must have the primary key. Now here you can see this all table it's come there. Now here after you can or do any kind of or you can check the record. So here properties, here columns and here index. Employee ID, no trigger data. So this data here. Here you can see the query. Now here after you can see add here name and here this all those things here columns index and here data. Now here after if you right click here you can use this add here select a start from insert and here if you want then or this table you can export as so. So export or table data you can also do that so this is the simplest way we can 
import external database tables inside Cassandra. So you should use at here no SQL manager for Cassandra. After that, you can easily do that. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.